Good morning and welcome to SSIT's Daily News Trends. A date has been set for implementation of recently approved teenage pregnancy policy. The teenage pregnancy policy that was recently approved by cabinet will be implemented from January next year. The policy will allow learners who fell pregnant to return to school sooner. This was revealed to the National Council of Provinces by the Basic Education Acting Director General Grenville Wickle. The department, MECs and officials have held talks with the NCOP on the dropouts of learners from schools. Whittle had to answer some of the questions on behalf of the Basic Education Deputy Minister Regina Maule. Who urges caution over mandatory vaccination measures? Mandatory vaccination or imposing a lockdown on people unvaccinated against COVID-19 raises human rights issues and countries should consider these measures extremely carefully, senior WHO official Mike Ryan said on Tuesday. The EFF rejects coalition government with ANC and DA in Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. Plans to form a coalition government in the hung Nelson Mandela Bay Metro have hit a snag. This after the Economic Freedom Fighters announced it won't be voting with the African National Congress or the Democratic Alliance. The Metro will be holding its inaugural council meeting on Wednesday. Both the ANC and the DA are in poll position to form coalition government with 48 seats each. A political party needs 61 seats to have majority in council and the AFF was seen as the kingmakers with its 8 seats. Police confirmed discovery of a human head believed to be linked to Proteat Land Body Parts case. The police have confirmed the discovery of a head believed to be part of a woman whose remains were found in a fridge in Proteat Land Soweto on Saturday. The 26-year-old Flavio Hlabangwan is in police custody on charges of murder. He was arrested after his girlfriend who was visiting him found the human remains and alerted the authorities. South Africa to co-host 2027 50 over Cricket World Cup. The men's 50 over Cricket World Cup is set to return to South Africa, with the country being confirmed as co-host of the 2027 edition. South Africa will share that honor with neighbors Zimbabwe and Namibia. The Rainbow Nation last hosted the 50 over showpiece back in 2003. And that's it for your daily trends today. Thank you for choosing SSIT.